everybody. So today is gonna mark the final day of revision week, which is obviously a sad thing. Um, but anyway, today I thought I would film a video that isn't really related to revision at all. Um, well, it kind of is. But anyway, I thought I'd finish off the week by doing a video on my future plans, just to let any of you know what I have got planned in the future what I'm doing right now because you know you might not know this might be the first video you've ever watched of me um and it's kind of like it's not really a get to know me video but it's a get to know what stage of my life I'm at right now what I have planned in the future for example like uni stuff like that and just a little update for you all for those of you that are interested and it's going to be kind of fairly short um I hope you've really enjoyed revision week it's been an absolute I don't even have words to describe how difficult this week has been um, in terms of how many videos I've had to film and uh, edit and upload. Um, but anyway, I don't really mind doing it because I know that the majority of my subscribers have come from my revision videos and they are requested quite a lot. I will be doing more to come, so please stay. Stay for more. Um, anyway, so I am currently, right now, if you didn't know, doing A-levels and I'm 18 years old doing my A-levels, I'm in year two and my exams are coming up in like a month or something ridiculous like that. I study chemistry, maths and biology, love my subjects that I do and I particularly like the maths part of it. Maths is what I really do prefer by a mile um, and that's kind of what I want to go into in the future. Any job I have has to involve maths in it well most jobs involve maths anyway but what i'm saying is it would be silly for me to go into a job to do with biology and chemistry or something like that um when my you know not my skills but when what i'm good at mostly is maths um compared to the other two subjects anyway um obviously i'll be sitting my exams very soon my first exam is in like the fourth of june or something like that so yeah i'll be sitting my exams and you know i would probably vlog like one of my exam weeks or something just so that you know what it's like for a week during exams maybe if you're like well to be fair if you're doing a levels or gcse you'll know what it's like because you'll be doing it currently um but i might vlog that week not because i want to waste time vlogging but because vlogging to me doesn't take much effort to pick up a camera um so i can just film the week and then on the weekend edit it like it won't take me much effort um but we'll see maybe mentally i won't be ready to do that um my last exam is on the 20th of june and then a few days later on the 23rd of june i'm going on holiday with my friends leanne emma and steph we've booked it we've paid for it and we're going basically we're going to bridlington in england if you know where that is it's near scarborough and basically we just wanted like a really relaxing holiday somewhere where we can just kind of chill out from our exams we wanted somewhere with a hot tub and it does have a hot tub which is good but i think it's just going to be a nice place for us all to go we get on really really well um we always get on well at school and i think it's going to be a nice week away to just kind of go and do a little activity every day and just just have fun basically and i think even if we didn't do anything, which we will do stuff, but even if we didn't, we have each other's company and we get on up so well that that would be fine. So it's gonna be a good week, I can tell. And I will also be vlogging that week as well, of course. Of course I'll be vlogging um, on my little camera. So that should be fun. Um, so that's what I've got planned. And then after that, that we have also booked tickets to a, I think a festival, three day festival, and we're gonna be going to that in August. So yeah, all four of us are going. We've paid for that and booked that, so that's really good. And that'll be fun because I've never been to a festival before, so should be different. But yeah, I like to do different activities and I'm really excited to go with my friends. Also, I might try and get a job in the summer. I don't like to feel pressured into doing anything. I don't like to feel like that is what I have to do because it just makes me feel like I don't want to do it. I'm very weird like that, but I will try and see and look into it at least um, to a job. I, I always feel like your first job has to be something like working in a cafe or being a waitress or whatever which is something that i don't want to do i don't know why i just don't want to do that um but i realized that there are loads of other jobs that i could do um that don't involve 
waitressing um so i'm gonna look into that a little bit more i think i want to pick a job that actually i'm actually gonna like um not necessarily look forward to because obviously quite a lot of people don't like their jobs but something that i you know not just the obvious job just kind of a little job that i have obviously it's not going to be a career what i mean is just like a little job to earn some cash but I'm, i want to pick something that doesn't isn't just the obvious kind of job i don't know i want to look into it a little bit more than just go up to the local cafe or whatever also um as you probably know i'm 18 have i started driving no i haven't started driving yet i didn't want to start driving until after my exams because i just I'm the kind of person that gets a little bit, not stressed out, but in my head, I like to focus on one thing at a time. I find certain things quite difficult and I would get quite anxious about driving. So I don't want to be so anxious that I've got driving lessons or that I'm driving um, that I actually don't want to revise. I don't know, like I just want to focus on one thing at a time. And I think my most important thing right now is to focus on my revision and to make sure that I am doing my best and that I hopefully get a good, fairly decent grades in my A-levels. Um, so then in the summer, me and my brother, because my brother's just turned 17, Tommy, we're both going to learn to drive at the same time. Um, my dad's going to teach us how to drive. Obviously, we're all going to get insured on the same car, but he's going to teach us how to drive and then we're going to have like some lessons and then we're going to have the test obviously and hopefully fingers crossed we will pass who knows what will happen and obviously theory and everything so i will do like more videos on that um like when it comes nearer the time obviously so there'll be like driving videos and stuff like that but that's what's going to be happening in the summer holidays and after that obviously um Obviously after the summer holidays, I will begin uni. I am going to university. I have an unconditional to the university that I want to go to. Um, it's not like a really top university or anything, definitely not, but it isn't actually that bad. Like a lot of people have bad views on this uni. I'm not gonna say what it is um, just cause I don't want to, but like a lot of people have bad views on it, but actually it's not as bad as what people think. And the ranking of it is actually not that bad. And it's, I think, I heard from somebody that it's the most improved university um, from like a few years ago. It's improved like the most. Um, so that's obviously good. Um, means they're doing something good. So yeah, and I'm happy to go there. It's near my house. So I literally can just, if I wanted to walk, um, like I probably would get the bus, but I could walk if I wanted to and it wouldn't take me that long really. So um so that's what's gonna be happening and that's good because then if i'm driving i can just drive there or drive back or whatever like i can i don't know like because a lot of people don't drive whilst they're at uni because they live away so they don't take their car with them or anything whereas i will just be at home so yeah i'm living at home i made the decision to stay and live at home and go to the uni that's near my house because i don't feel ready to move out and i don't think that's what life's all about i don't a lot of people have said to me oh you know why don't you just go to a different university get the full experience well what the hell does that even mean like what is the full experience like it, i will not enjoy it and to me i want to make decisions in my life that i will that i feel comfortable with and that i will enjoy and for me going to university is a massive step in itself and you know going to somewhere else that i will struggle to do and that i will struggle to deal with let alone actually moving out i don't think i don't think i could ever contemplate doing that in my head and that's obviously like my issue it's not like i'm not speaking for everyone here but like i could not imagine moving out and going to somewhere where i don't know anybody like that just sounds like just not fun basically so i'm just gonna focus on university first you probably gather from this video that i like to do things in little stages do my a levels do my driving do um uni and then after uni i can think about moving out potentially um i just don't you know and why spend loads of money moving out um having to get loans for accommodation and stuff when you might as well just stay at home um and you know i'm more comfortable i will be mentally more stable <laughs> I just will. My family's at home. My friends are here. Um, my friend Leanne is also going to the same university I'm going to. We're studying different courses, but she's still going to um, the university I'm going to, which is really good. So we're like um, still going to see each other like a lot. 
and I just think that's the right decision for me personally obviously everyone has their own personal opinions but you know I think going to uni alone is like a massive step for me but to actually have to move out is just something that I just don't think I could deal with. Um, at uni I'm studying accounting and finance, um, obviously the mathsy part of it is strong, I do like maths, um, that's definitely the career I want to go down, I haven't just randomly selected it from the air and thought I'll just do that, I've always well I say always for the past I'd say like five four or five years I've had it in my mind that I think I want to be an accountant or something to do with it and I think this is definitely kind of what I want to do um I'm the kind of person that just likes figures and numbers and things and it just clicks more with my brain than any other kind of thing in life and I just think I would quite like that as a job. Um, a lot of people say accountancy is boring or being an accountant is boring. I don't think the job is boring. I think it's how you think of it yourself. Um, just like schoolwork, I enjoy revising um, and some people hate revising. It's just how you make it yourself. Um, so that's my opinion but who knows maybe I will hate it but I doubt I will because I'm the kind of person that tries to make positives out of absolutely everything. So that's it about uni and it is a three year course unless I want to take a year out and go do like work experience or something like that which I don't think I'm going to be doing but I can always see. Obviously I will be making future videos on like uni and all that kind of thing like um just what uni's like my first year at uni um uh, making friends stuff like that like when I get into it. Also, I hope to have a job um, whilst I go to uni. If I haven't managed to get one in the summer holidays for whatever reason, then I hope to find one whilst I'm doing uni just to kind of fit it in with the times of me being at uni. Um, and I'm also going to carry on with my YouTube channel. There is no doubt about it, I will carry on with my videos. Love making videos, always have. I've been making videos for about three, four years maybe um like this channel is not three or four years old this channel's like not even two years actually is it two years old Ooh, this channel is nearly two years old wow um but i did have a channel before this one but it got deleted um but we won't talk about that uh, anyway so yeah i will carry on with my youtube channel making videos and content and stuff like that because i just enjoy it it's not about the subscribers for me it's not about the views the likes i just enjoy the people that I currently have on my channel that are like commenting and stuff like that so thank you if you are one of those people um, and then obviously after uni my aim is to try and aim to be an accountant um, move out into a house or whatever um, like not just straight away do you know what I mean like I'm not like as soon as I finish uni let's move out straight into a house I mean just generally in the future um, be an accountant potentially work my way up the ladder because obviously you've got to start at the bottom um things like that and just as long as i'm happy as long as you're happy in life then that is all that matters whether or not you've got like the best job or not if you're not happy and you get paid a lot of money happiness should come before money like always and i've always said that like in my head to myself as long as i'm happy that's all right which is why I'm staying at home and going to the uni near me instead of moving away I wouldn't be happy so why would I do that okay why would I put that on myself um so you know I'm just saying it so that's the end of this little update video thanks for watching hopefully you got to know a little bit more about me and my decisions obviously these decisions are personal to me other people will you know decide other things and do other things with their lives um but i hope you enjoyed revision week there will be more videos coming obviously um but thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on this channel and i'll see you very soon goodbye